there you go. The comedian's trademark, a lone microphone in the middle of the stage. <laughs> uh, hey, we, uh, we know how to have fun around here. We invite people to make pies and... And Tell we invite jokes. comedians to add to the party, <laughs> yes. and they're here. Like, yeah. um, Very Dara Ombres is our uh, guest co-host this week from Runway Apparel. Yes, Having fun? Yes, I am. Good. It's been a great week. I'm loving it. I'm Larry Aarons. It's the Morning Brew, and let's find out about comedy. We have Will Bolt with us today, along with uh, Genevieve Muller. And welcome to the show, you guys. Hi, how are you? Yeah, well, we're going to do some comedy today, huh? We are, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, jokes. We've uh, jokes and fun stuff. Yeah. You guys are doing a, a, a performance of the Bad Penguin Comedy Tour. Yeah, on yeah. Saturday at the Box. Nice. Um, it's a, it's like a monthly show that I that I've been doing since the summer. So, good. Yeah. Now that she's been rehearsing it since summer, so it's really good. <laughs> good. <now. laughs> yeah. Uh, fill us in on this thing, and and we'll talk. More about yeah, so um, so the box is um, normally a an improv theater, um, right. and every once in a while they have stand up. And then I decided, um, well, I asked Doug Montoya, I was like, can we just have like a regular night? Because hmm. um, we don't have a comedy club in Albuquerque, um, yeah. and since like about 2009. Is yeah, right? 2009. yeah. So it's nice to have like a regular, you know, stand up night. You know, right. people can sort of like rely on that. So I asked Doug, and, and he was. Super cool with it, and so we've been doing it since August. It's every um, third Saturday of the month, and I try to get traveling comics, but also give space for local comics to come in and do comedy. Oh, fun! Yeah, fun. Um, and where's the box located? Um, it's downtown. Okay. It's uh, right by um, Century 14. It's on oh, like Second okay. and Gold. Okay. Yeah, great. great. Well, a lot of comedians are writers mm -hmm. as well, and you are. Uh, are you both writers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm working on a movie right now with some uh, other local comics. Uh, we're, we got a Kickstarter going on right now. It's uh, called The Whistleblowers. The Whistleblowers. Yeah, it's about some like guys who work at the NSA who come across like this uh, super drive, and they use it to like kind of combat like local criminals and, and bigger corporations and <laughs> things. Yes, a ragtag team. Yeah, it's a ragtag team. <laughs> nerds. 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 Yeah. Kind of like a Robin Hood. Yeah. That's yeah. Fun. It's like Guardians of the Galaxy with nerds. Oh, okay. With nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Less high tech equipment. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not the, yeah. It'll yeah. take place in space. Right? Totally, yeah. A lot of people think comedians are, you just get up and you're. You're, on. you're doing one liners and all of yeah. that. Most comedians really tell stories and. Absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah. Watch yeah. what's going on in life and, and relate it in a funny way. That's Absolutely. Right. I think we probably observe too much, mm -hmm. and that's why we just have to kind of get yeah. it down on stage. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's almost like a reality check. It's like you get up there and you're like, does anybody else notice what's going on? Like, yeah. Am I yeah. the yeah. only one? Am yeah. I crazy yeah. for thinking this? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, yeah. Yeah. Dara, we have to step carefully, otherwise we'll end up in the routine. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't judge. It's early in the morning. We're just innocent TV hosts. That's all we are. <laughs> it's too early to write a yeah. joke. <laughs> uh, when do you feel funny? Do you feel funny all the time? When do I feel funny? Yeah. Oh, uh, probably just on stage, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. The, that that short moment after somebody laughs. Yeah, like that's, that's it. Where I feel funny. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. After that, yeah. then. okay. Yeah. Um, I want to know about the podcast. Tell me about that. Okay, yeah. so we started. This is our tenth episode this week. The, yeah, the one yeah. that we post on Monday will be right. Our 10th Monday. episode, yeah. So we've been doing it for a couple of months now. We post one a week on Mondays. Uh, we're on SoundCloud and iTunes, and it's called Dead Things Podcast. Um, <laughs> it sounds Lovely morbid, yeah. Yeah. but well, I promise it's comedy. Yeah, it's mostly comedy. We, yeah. just, we get into like, a lot of like really interesting conversations. It's been a really interesting sort of thing because like we sit down with people and we ask them like what do you know like what's your experience with death and like mm -hmm. it's led to some really amazing conversations mm -hmm. with people yeah um right and, and a lot of them are our friends or you know comics that we, we kind of bring on some of them are just writers that we you know, right. or lawyers or lawyers that you know yeah um but yeah so we ask about their person and then we also we find like three articles it's kind of like this week in death sort of a news show yeah. so we find three articles about you know weird deaths throughout the week um and we talk about them mm -hmm. um but we also try to you know ask personal, like will say nice. ask personal questions about yeah. it yeah so it's well, like a mixture of comedy and this is Seriousness. this is fun <laughs> so uh you guys are Set to do some material for us. Yeah. Show us what yeah. you do. Uh, yeah. are, are we okay. doing this individually or are you guys? Yeah, no, yeah. Will's going to go first. <laughs> All right. Will, your time. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. go on over to the. To, uh, Will Bolt's going to lead us off here on the, the comedy segment here on the Morning Brew. Will, it's all yours, my man. 
Okay. Uh, this is always the trickiest part, getting a mic out of the stands. You gotta go to school for that. Uh, yeah, so my name is Will Bolt. Uh, one thing a lot of people don't know about me is uh, I'm a substitute teacher. A lot of people always wonder, like, well, how does one become a substitute teacher? It's, well, it's really easy. Uh, you get two cereal box tops, and uh, you mail them to the Department of Education. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and they send you a certificate that says uh, you're allowed to be alone in a room full of kids. Uh, for six and a half hours every day. But it, it's, not, it's, it's not quite that easy. There is a test you have to take. Um, don't get too nervous now. It's multiple choice. Uh, it's got really important questions, though. They want to make sure that they're only hiring the best candidates. Uh, it's got questions like, when is it OK to touch a child? <laughs> it's multiple choice. Don't freak out. Uh, the answers are A, never, B, uh, when the child's life is in immediate danger, or C, only when you're alone with the child. Now, if you still can't get that, so you only need 70% to pass, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, and then once you get hired, uh, they send you a certificate signed by the governor. Uh, the certificate is in uh, Comic Sans, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, also, I, so what, what, do you, what do I do with my uh, sweet Jay-Z money that I make as a substitute? Um, well, uh, I have a girlfriend. And uh, recently, we were talking about having kids. We decided to hold off on that. We'd get cats instead. I think that was a good choice. I think if we'd gone straight uh, for having kids, we'd both be in jail by now. Because uh, it turns out there's things you can do with cats that you can't do with kids. Like if you have a child, and in the middle of the night, your child starts throwing up, you can't just throw it outside <laughs> and think it'll just figure it out. Uh, Turns out that's, that's not a good thing to do. Um, if your kid's hungry, you can't just put food on the floor and hope that they'll figure it out. Um, and if you're, most of your conversations you have are start off like, a, hey, jerk face, get off the dresser. <laughs> People ask questions like, why is your kid on a dresser? <laughs> Who's watching this kid? Uh, speaking of cats, though, I don't know. Like, I've been in Albuquerque. I've lived here uh, since 1999. And when I first moved here, if you drove down Central, you'd see like, five, six, seven pussycat videos, and now there's only one, which is kind of sad for the local economy. Well, here's what I want to do. I want to buy up all those old pussycat video uh, storefronts, but I'm not a porn guy. I think we should sell pussycat videos at Pussycat Video. <laughs> we have all kinds of great things like, uh, like Back Alley Scratchers 9 and <laughs> Catnip Huffers 12, and we'll have like behind the scenes videos where you have like this couch that people will be like throwing cats on, and we'll have like PAs getting them all crazy with like laser pointers and, uh, and yarn and everything like that. And we'll have great promotional events too at Pussycat Video where you can come once a month and your favorite pussycats will be there and you can get a little 8x10 photograph of your favorite cat with a little ink paw print on it. <laughs> I think it's a great way to revitalize the local economy. Anyways, my name has been Will Bolt. So. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Did you doesn't... happen to see the cats on the trees? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <had> earlier. <laughs> I love cats. Yeah. Uh, well, you, should, you, you do kind of look like a, a teacher, you know? Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's it works. It's a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. <laughs> do you have to teach today? Uh, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, good. Tomorrow I'm subbing a English soci uh, was it social studies class. Uh -huh. Nice. I've had a lot of material yeah. comes out of. Yeah, yeah, actually, a lot of it does. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. Me realizing what kind of a teacher I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Genevieve, you want to go to the mic? Yeah. Let's do okay, it. Genevieve Muller is uh, gonna Ooh, take it on. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, you need the nice. microphone thing. I need the mic today. Uh, Genevieve also writes a column, Weekly Alibi, all about comedy, and uh, has interviewed a lot of uh, comedians over the years, and. Uh, she's about to do her comedy thing right now. Let's go for it. Hey guys, how are you doing in the studio? All right. <laughs> uh, so I was, um, I was reading an article recently, and I'm a mom, right? And I read this article, and the title of the article was, Kids Ruin My Life. And that made me like super sad because I'm a mom, and I was like, no, I love my, I love my son. But like a part of me is like, I kind of get it, like a little bit kind of get it, right? But the, the worst part of it was that the mom in the, in the article was like, oh no, you know, the only reason why I had kids was because my husband really wanted me to. And that's an awful reason to have kids. Like, you should have kids because you want them, right? So I came up with like a little test to see if you're ready to have kids. You guys want to know the test? Yeah. yeah? Okay. All right. 
So the first thing that you do is you go and get a feral cat, right? <laughs> just go out, like just find it. Like you'll go out to the west side, you'll find a feral cat for sure. Take it home and then for a whole week, uh, set your alarm clock for every hour on the hour and try to get that feral cat asleep by just doing this, <laughs> right? For like half an hour. Right. Yeah, you gotta like work those muscles, right? And it's scratching at you. Um, and then I want you to go and uh, take half of whatever you own, uh, take it outside and then bury it and just light it on fire, right? And then find some vomit. Just find it, you'll find it. Just find it, go into your bed and then shove it right in the middle, right? His kids, they'll wait, they hold it and then they get to the middle of your bed and then they just let it all out. So do that. And if you can do that for a week, then by all means procreate. But if you can't, then just get yourself fixed because I don't want any more crappy people in this world. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hang out with a lot of moms though. And recently this mom was like, um, I think I'm gonna get a life coach. And I was like, a life coach? Uh, if you need a coach for your life, maybe life isn't your thing. Maybe you should try something different. And I was like, why do you need a life coach? And she's like, well, I'm just so depressed. And I'm like, well, what are you depressed about? And she's like, oh, well, you know, I have like three guys who want to date me. And I have like all these bills to pay with my job, you know, and all that. I'm like, oh, so you have to be like a normal adult and you've got like three romantic prospects. Now I'm depressed, maybe I need a life coach. <laughs> I'm Genevieve Mueller, thanks guys. Oh man, <laughs> this is great. Um, so let's talk about all the stuff you guys do. You got a tour coming up at the beginning of the year, right? Yeah, we do yeah. in February. Yeah, we're going yeah. with, um, so it's us two and then Drew Wayne and Joe Casada. And we're kind of just doing a tour of like the Pacific Northwest, so like Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, and then we're kind of making our way down Salt Lake and then Denver and then home. Fun. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah that'll be really awesome. Great. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. This is our first, like, tour that I've ever done. Like, I've done comedy kind of all around, you know, mm -hmm. but this sure. is the first, like, actual tour. So I'm excited. All right. Where can people go online and find out more about you guys? Um, you can check out GenevieveMuellerComedy.com um, or you can like the Albuquerque Comedy Facebook page. Oh. And you can um, follow our podcast on uh, iTunes and SoundCloud. And it's yeah. called Dead Things. Dead Things, Dead things. Dead things yeah. podcast. Dead things yeah. podcast. Yeah. You guys are yeah. fun. Thank yes. you for being here Thanks. on the morning tour. Yeah. So we much. had some laughs. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Great. Will Bold and Genevieve uh, Miller, everybody. Uh, the Bad Penguin Comedy Tour and all that that they just talked about. We'll be back in a moment. More Morning Brew right after this time out. Blitzen, blitzen, all the hairs are reindeer pulling on.